Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Yeshi Chonzom. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 30th of June. Indian Prime Minister addresses nation says important to take precautions during Unlock 2. Locals blame Islamabad for poor road infrastructure in Pakistan administered Kashmir. And farmers in Nepal busy planting paddy as monsoon sets in. And now for all the details. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday said it is important to take precautions in the fight against coronavirus as the country is set to enter unlock phase 2 from July 1. He said India is still in the very stable situation in which timely decisions and measures have played a great role. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday urged citizens to strictly follow precautionary measures in the fight against coronavirus pandemic as India is set to enter Unlock 2 from 1st of July. In an address to the nation, Modi said, in comparison to other countries across the globe, India is still in a very stable situation in which timely decisions and measures have played a great role. He said PM Garib Kalyan Anna Yojana, the free ration scheme for poor, will be extended till the end of November with a cost of over rupees 90,000 crore. This came a day after the Interior Ministry issued fresh guidelines for the unlock phase 2 on Monday night. Corona Vaishwik Mahamari ke khilaap Lerte Lerte Abham Unlock 2 me Pravesh kar rahe hai. और हम उस मौसम में भी प्रवेश कर रहे हैं जहां सर्दी जुखाम खांसी बुखार ये सारे न जाने क्या-क्या होता है ये मामले बढ़ जाते हैं ऐसे में मेरी आप सभी देशवासियों से प्रार्थना है कि ऐसे समय India recorded 18,522 new coronavirus cases on Tuesday, taking the overall count to 566,840, with 16,893 deaths so far. Modi on Tuesday also chaired a high-level meeting to review the preparations being undertaken for vaccination against COVID-19 as and when a vaccine is available a day after India's first indigenous COVID-19 vaccine, Covaxin, got the nod for human clinical trials. At least two militants who killed a five-year-old and a paramilitary trooper last week were gunned down by security forces during an encounter in Anantnag town of India's northern Jammu and Kashmir territory on Tuesday. A search operation by Indian Army, Paramilitary Central Reserve Police Force and Jammu and Kashmir Police was launched in Vaghama village of Anantnag during which the militants fired upon the forces. Security personnel retaliated to the firing and the two were killed in the gun battle. Tuesday's encounter comes a day after one Hezbul Mujahideen and two lashkar e taiba militants were gunned down in Anantnag's Kulchohar area. Four people were killed and the number of flood-affected districts in India's northeast and Assam province increased to 25 of the total 33 as rainfall continued in several parts of the region on Monday. More than 1.3 million people in affected districts have been hit by the flooding. Heavy flooding triggered by monsoon rains has forced more than a million people to flee their homes in the northeast Indian province of Assam, authorities said on Monday, warning that the crisis was becoming more critical by the hour. Torrential rain hit at least 25 of Assam's 33 districts and the Federal Water Resource Body said water levels in the Brahmaputra River were expected to rise 
with more rain forecast over the next three days. The Brahmaputra River, one of the largest rivers in the world, burst its banks in Assam over the weekend, inundating more than 2,000 villages. According to the Central Water Commission, the Brahmaputra was flowing above the danger mark in several districts. Seven other rivers were also flowing over the red mark at several places. बिरोस्पति दिन से एकदम हम लोग का गांव तो पूरा खांते जाता है, पूरा खांते जाता है। घर द्वार बहुत चला गया, बहुत आदमी का सामान चला गया, बहुत गोरु भैंसी भी चला गया, गाय गोरु बहुत चला गया। Assam, famous for its tea plantations, is hit by seasonal flooding each year, forcing state and federal governments to spend millions of rupees on flood control. Paramilitary personnel were deployed across the province for rescue operations and to ensure people maintain social distance in makeshift shelter camps to prevent the spread of the coronavirus, authorities said. Moving on, the roads in Pakistan-administered Kashmir are often touted as one of the most dangerous in the world. Locals blame despite several complaints, Pakistani authorities pay no heed to deteriorating conditions of road and infrastructure in the illegally occupied region. Poor condition of roads continue to create daily travel problems for the locals in remote areas of Pakistan-administered Kashmir. Residents blame hollow promises to fix the roads and improve infrastructure keep coming from the politicians. But even after 70 years, authorities have done nothing to overhaul these dangerous roads. A complete overhaul is required, but the puppet government pays no heed to the dilapidated infrastructure in the illegally occupied region. Every year, the election is put on the election. The election is put on the vote. This year, the road will be removed, but the road will be removed. At this time, the road will be removed for the village. The road will start with the village. The road will be removed from the village. The road will be removed from the village. Locals blame it is part of Pakistan's agenda to keep the region underdeveloped. A part of the erstwhile princely province of India's Jammu and Kashmir, Pakistan-administered Kashmir was illegally annexed by Pakistan over six decades back. Moving on to news from Bangladesh. Barbers have been wearing PPE kits in Bangladeshi capital Dhaka to help quell fears of customers amid coronavirus pandemic. The number of confirmed coronavirus cases in Bangladesh surged past 141,800 on Tuesday. The staff at barber shops and salons in Bangladeshi capital Dhaka have been wearing personal protective equipment or PPE while giving haircuts to quell customer fears amid COVID-19 pandemic. Saloon owners said that although the customer footfall has been low compared to before the lockdown was imposed, they have been serving their customers by following proper precautionary measures. Despite increasing infections, the Bangladeshi government issued an order allowing shops and markets to reopen in the country from May 10th on a limited scale, weeks after giving permission to reopen factories as part of easing the nationwide shutdown imposed since March 26th. Corona protective जो तो धरने को तो क्यों नया दर्ज कर, शेटन ये और ना सेलून पुलिस और ना कुछ नहीं, इतना जाना पड़े हम रात भर आशा शुरू करते हैं, एक उन देख सीजे और ना जैसे शेवा दिख सी तब तब बस ऐसे ही है। अच्छा रहा, हमारे सफल स्टाफ, पीपी, मास्क एवं प्रोटेक्टिव शील्ड फेस शील्ड यूज़ करने मात्रों में as of Tuesday, the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in Bangladesh surged over to 141,800, while fatalities stood at 1,783. In news from Nepal, farmers in Nepal are busy planting paddy as monsoon season has set in. Agriculture authorities said about 20% of paddy plantation has already been completed in the Himalayan nation.
fields near Manohara River in Sankhu in the Kathmandu Valley these days buzz with sounds of running tractor, people and melodies twining with one another as farmers have begun making rapid progress in planting paddy as the monsoon season kicks in. On Monday, on the occasion of the National Paddy Day, farmers sang ropain or field songs as they continued their work of planting paddy saplings. Along with the melodies, farmers also ran behind each other, smearing mud on face and splashing muddy water as a means of fun. National Paddy Day holds a great significance for the common people as the country's economy is dominated by agriculture. Nepal annually produces about 5.5 million metric tons of paddy, while the consumption stands at 7 million metric tons. Last year, the Himalayan nation produced a total of 5.55 million metric tons from 1.45 million hectares of land. As per the Department of Agriculture, this year about 20% of paddy plantation had been completed in Nepal by June 29, which is up by 9% in comparison to previous year. Traders in India's West Bengal province are threatening to hold business with Nepal from the border village of Panitanki following the ongoing dispute after Himalayan nation approved a new map of the country, including land controlled by India. Traders in India's eastern West Bengal province are threatening to halt business with Nepal from the border village of Pani Tanki following the ongoing dispute after the Himalayan nation approved a new map of the country, including land controlled by India. The Pani Tanki Traders Association has decided to stop selling Indian products to Nepal, which is largely dependent on the village for business unless the border issue is resolved. हालात सही नहीं होगा तो हम लोग कैसे बिजनेस करेंगे नेपाल को पहले अपना हालात सही करना पड़ेगा वो मैप उसको सही करना पड़ेगा उसका बाद में करेंगे हम लोग अपना सरकार के साथ है नेपाल का इस प्रकार का हरकत को तो हम लोग समर्थन नहीं करते हैं ना हम लोग अपना बिजनेस के लिए आज उसके सामने गिर जाएंगे ऐसा बात भी तो नहीं है ना India sells Nepal all its oil requirements and the Himalayan nation's imports and exports transit through Indian ports. Nepal also sources raw material and skilled labor from India. Abhi jaise Nepal mein situation ye jamin bivad leke kiya hai Nepal ka sarkar iske leke hum log bhi chahte hain ki chalo isko ya to solve kiya jaye ya pura puri fir band kar denge hum log bhi uske saath business nahi hoga totally Nepal mein problem aa jayega. Earlier this month, the Upper House of Nepal's Parliament approved a new map of the country, including areas disputed with India. The move signals a hardening of Nepal's position over a decades-long border row that has strained ties between the South Asian neighbours. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories once again. Indian Prime Minister addresses nation says important to take precautions during Unlock 2. Locals blame Islamabad for poor road infrastructure in Pakistan administered Kashmir. And farmers in Nepal busy planting paddy as monsoon sets in. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on facebook.com slash asianewsline and follow us on twitter at asianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.